Hello everyone, Angus Campbell here. Monday the uh, 30th of December 2019. So, uh, um, a quick episode this, hot on the heels of the last one that I published last night, simply because I want to get the barrels onto the crankcases there to protect the pistons, that's all. Um, and... Well, just to remind everybody, this is the uh, E35 Fury, uh, where we've begun to uh, to build build up now the final clean build. Um, so what I said I was going to do was probably fit the barrels without the barrel and head studs, and that's because these barrel and head studs that have been made uh, by the engineer that uh, undertook quite a bit of machining on on this. Uh, motor for me um, has made these studs just for um, first fit purposes out of uh, mild steel so they probably will stretch um, so we're not going to use them once the uh, the head is on we'll get some um, harder steel ones made up um, and that's in hand at the moment but I've decided to to use just a, a couple of studs as uh, as locators uh, just to assist with getting the barrels on evenly over over the pistons and the rings and um, we know this is going to fit okay because we, we we've already put this together in the in the first fit so uh, what I'll do first is I'm just double knotting these up now so I can screw these studs down relatively well so that we know that they're true and then we'll put a bit of uh, silicon sealer on the the face here followed by uh, the gasket and uh, another layer of silicon sealer and then we'll uh, we'll drop the barrels down gently uh, onto onto the crankcases down the studs so i'll get these studs in first and they'll be set to go okay that's the uh, left hand stud there that you can see that's screwed down and uh, just tighten down the other one now it's a, it's a little bit stiff uh, but it's fine with the double knot which i'm sure you're all familiar with it beats uh, trying to grip the stud and wind it down with pipe grips or mole grips or anything like that. A much better technique. But I just wanted to point out while I was doing this that um, there we go. That's it. She's down. Um, while I was doing that, is that um, some of you may notice that. Uh, that stud there is is a bit too proud. I mean, you'd expect them to be proud to a certain extent, and maybe those uh, might be a little bit too proud as well. But they don't look too bad. Um, but that one's definitely proud. So we'll probably extract that one and uh, just uh, tidy that up a little bit, really. Um, what I had also noticed really is that the the use of um, studs and nuts to uh, Secure the crankcase halves together is, is correct according to the parts book, except for maybe a, um, a couple underneath there, which are supposedly UNC bolts, but don't quite have the right size. But the studs have been made up for that, um, so I've used them for the time being. However, when I looked at uh, both the uh, the Bandit and the Fury, actually, if we go round to the uh, the original Show Fury, uh, you might not see this. Whoop. I not see that too well, in fact hardly at all really, uh, but down down there the uh, crankcase halves, sorry it's rather dark down there so you might have to take my word for it because uh, I don't have a torch with me, but uh, down there there are definitely bolts holding the cases together, uh, which isn't what uh, it says in the parts book. So. We'll, we'll go with this, I don't mind that, but that one just needs uh, tidying up a little bit, so we'll do that once we've got the uh, the barrels on, so while we're messing about with it, again, we're not doing any damage to uh, to the pistons here. So I'll remove these nuts, and then what I'm going to do is uh, prepare the base with the gasket. Right, okay, that's the, uh, the mounting face prepared with the uh, silicone and... Uh, the gasket in place so that's good to go um, a couple of other things to mention is the reason that I've uh, chosen these two studs 
as the guides is because at the base of the studs this is where the holes have been over drilled slightly because there are a, uh, a couple of locating dowels for the barrel as well for those studs so that was the obvious choice. Um, other thing to mention is that I've ensured that with respect to uh, the rings then all the gaps are staggered around the piston and uh, are not overlapping. So now it's just a case of gently easing this down over um, over the pistons. It's uh, it's not a very easy job. You've got to be extremely patient with it and just gently feed in uh, the rings. I don't have any ring compressors, but um, I managed to do this pretty much okay before with respect to the first fit. And um, I don't know if you can see that too well, but there is a chamfer on the liners to assist with that. So it's just a case then. the studs a bit upside there there we go Bit more difficult you think because those studs are um, are different lengths because the two studs on the primary drive side of the motor are longer because of the uh, configuration of the uh, of the cylinder head anyway there we go gently slide down to the pistons Trap one. There we go. That's better. There we go. Okay, now we're beginning to locate. There we go.
Okay, there we go. Barrel's just about seated on the uh, on the locator dowels, which is what we wanted. And I've just uh, I just spent quite a bit of time, as you saw, just making sure that, that crank is turning and the pistons are beginning to move, which they are. But it's a little difficult without anything too much to uh, to grip on the crank itself. But I will do uh, a bit more testing on that uh, to make sure that it's turning okay, and then I'll uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, just doing a bit of manipulation and uh, managed to free it off pretty well, so I can now turn it by hand. See the pistons going over the top there, the right hand piston anyway. There it goes. So, that's that job done. So now what I'm going to do is just put the motor on its side slightly and I'm just going to attack the, the sump plate here and put the gaskets on and some spring washers and then we'll tighten that up as well. Okay, so we've just got the, uh, the sump plate off with the gauze filter. So with respect to the, uh, the Fury, the, uh, the sump gauze filter and sump plate uh, is fitted in common with uh, other models. So that there's uh, basically two, two gaskets, one either side of the, uh, the gauze, gauze filter plate. And there's only actually one way around you can fit that on. I think originally these would have been uh, studs with uh, with lock nuts, uh, but these are UNC UNC bolts, seven sixteenth, I presume. Yeah. So we just need to just tighten these gently, just to compress the spring washer and not overdo it. diagonals. Probably an eighth of a turn. Like so. Okay, there we are. So that's a quick, quick job done. Well, not that quick to be honest, but as you saw, um, patience is a virtue. Uh, but that's worked out all right. All that goes on now between the head and the barrel is the two ceiling rings.
these are the, these are the head sealing rings, so they're compressible metal rings. That sit in that groove. And then for the cam chain tunnel here, there's an O-ring that sits around there. But they fit fine, but we won't uh, I won't leave those there for the moment because the head will be the last thing to go on with the motor in the frame because there's some machining yet to be done on the head, but that is being arranged with uh, Ward's Engineering in Rugby. Uh, once he's finished the rebore of the uh, of the A70 Lightning, which is uh, which is underway at the moment, which I'll get back sometime in January. Right, so uh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, success for that job. Barrels on. Next job on this will be to check and probably rebuild the oil pump and then fit the oil pump um, on the other side because that's quite awkward to do when the motor's in the frame because of the frame rails. So we'll do that job beforehand as well and we'll leave that for the next episode. Uh, so that's all for now everyone. Progress uh, continues. Thanks very much for your interest, for any comments, uh, for any subscriptions. I appreciate uh, everyone's interest and see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye-bye.